Dai Dao Hao, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Taipei Lantern Festival, one of Taiwan's most iconic celebrations. This is Taiwan's most iconic or one of their most iconic celebrations. This year, the festival is returning to its birthplace after 23 years and bringing it with a new sense of hope and excitement. All right, guys, I'm not sure how they monitor it other than they have some kind of uh, AI technology with cameras, but right now it's saying the festival is 12% occupancy with about 26,000 people on site out of 210,000 in capacity. So looks like a good time to get around before it's too crowded. This festival is a celebration of blessings that's been held for over 34 years to mark the first full moon of the lunar calendar year. It's time to gather and reflect on our hopes and dreams for the future, and the lanterns symbolize the hope of shining brightly into the night sky. This year, the festival is being held at a densely populated area of Taipei, showcasing the works of the high-rise buildings and illuminating the city streets and alleyways. Four major lantern zones have been designated across 12 different districts, making it easy for everyone to participate in the festivities. Tonight, I'll be featuring the Central Display Zone, uh, which spans across from the National Dr. Sun Yat uh, Sen Memorial Hall to the north end of the display, all the way up to Taipei City Hall Square, which is to the southern end, with the centerpiece of the lantern located at the center of the National uh, Dr. Sen Yat Memorial. So stay tuned to the end. There's a spectacular little show that goes along with that, and that'll be the last closing bit of this video. Guys, you how real quick, guys, I'm really glad you guys are here with me. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And I really appreciate your support. So let's keep walking, guys. What makes this year festival so special is the innovative and groundbreaking inter uh, integration of traditional lanterns uh, along with the latest lighting technology. This unique combination will create an experience unlike any other, lighting up the city and bringing a fresh new attitude. Since we first arrived, guys, attendance has jumped from 12% to 20% to over 42,000 people now on site, representing the year of the rabbit. What you guys see behind me is the centerpiece electronic rabbit. That is the iconic piece of the festival, and it goes off on a show every 30 minutes, so let's keep watching. All right, guys, let's go. This is known as the brilliant light of jade hair. This takes us on a journey through recent decades. It allows us to reflect not only Taiwan's technical growth, but its progress and achievements in areas of democracy, freedom, and international participation. As the year of the rabbit begins, everyone is ready for a new start. Together, we pray our hopes and dreams for a stable and prosperous new year shall come to fruition. The first two Chinese characters in the lantern's name mean jade hair rabbit, they also refer to moonlight. The second two characters mean splendor and brilliance. 
to gather the lantern's name means splendor of the moonlight. Thus this lantern conveys the theme that Taiwan will continue to shine as a beacon of freedom to the world. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the Taipei Lantern Festival. I hope you guys had fun getting to know the city and the feeling of hope and excitement that this special event brings. Dai Zhao Zai Jan to everybody. Happy New Year. And let's light up the future together. See you on the next video.